So if you've never checked out our Facebook Live videos every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern, I highly suggest you check it out and give it a try. I had an awesome interview last week with David Lisko, a business litigation attorney, and he gave us some awesome tips about red flags of being defrauded and what to do if you think you might be de being defrauded. So in business, we all get into deals. We all think about getting into partnerships with people. So some of the things he said, first of all, was know who you're getting in bed with, like really know who you're marrying because this is essentially a marriage. And the way you do that is lay out the expectations in writing. So put all your agreements, put your expectations of both parties in writing, that way there's no surprises. When you, when you hire an attorney, make sure they're more of an advisor, so that way they can help advise you on pieces of evidence, documents that you may want to have in line in case something goes wrong. It's all about having an attorney in the advisory role rather than just giving their opinion, yes, no, yes, no. They need to be proactive attorneys. Now, if you are having some red flags. You know, how, how would I know if I'm being defrauded? A few big ones are, this is going to sound common sense, but listen to your gut, listen to your gut feelings. If you feel like you should do further research, it's worth it. Take the time to do that research. It's so much better to never have $10 million and have nothing than to have made 10 million and get it stolen from you. So it's worth the time and effort, first of all. Second of all, Definitely watch out for the chameleons, he called them. So the people that all of a sudden speak your language and like what you like and show up at your church and show up at you know the different places that you go. These people are professionals. There's professional scam artists out there. So be leery if they all of a sudden become chameleon-like and you just have so much in common. Another one is a consistent pattern of throwing out names, name dropping and saying, oh, I can introduce you to them and then never following through. Call out their bluff, and if they still never follow through, then you might want to start to separate yourself. Because if once, twice, whatever, but if this is a consistent pattern and something that they do often, just name dropping and then never following through, it's not a person that you want in your business circle anyways. And then another one he said was just watch out for people that say, we don't need an attorney involved. We don't need it, things in writing. You know, we don't need to make it official. That's always an easy telltale sign that they're obviously paranoid about something and you need to move away from there. So check out the Finance Friday from last week on our Facebook Live, on our Facebook page, Nova Wealth Management.